Welcome to Home Network Build 2022. Whether you want to build a home network or just upgrade a home network, and you want all the pricing and information, well, this video is made just for you. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. This is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. So guys, on today's very special video, I'm gonna show you how to build a home network piece by piece. And as we go through all the devices, I'll give you the prices for each device. So at the end of this video, you'll know exactly how much it's gonna cost to build your home network. And as I explain all these devices that you're gonna need, I'll use my home network as an example. Once again, we'll give prices for each device. So without further ado, let's get started. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back and enjoy. And while you're grabbing your coffee, make sure to hit subscribe. All right guys, the first thing I wanna talk about is your modem. This is the heart and soul of your network. Without a modem, your network is dead. Now this all depends on your ISP, Internet Service Provider. Now we have three options here. Your ISP could give you a modem, which would be great. Second, your ISP could rent you a modem. Okay, <laughs> usually around five or $10 a month. Or third, you buy your own modem. For our situation, we have CenturyLink, one gig fiber. They gave us our modem for free. And it's a fiber ONT modem. However, we had Cox Cable before we made the switch to fiber. And Cox Cable offered to rent a modem, I think it was around $7 a month, but I chose to buy the modem. And I think it paid 120. When it comes to renting or buying, I always say go ahead and buy your modem. Because in the long run, it pays off. And I'll have pricing right here for different types of modems, whether it's a fiber modem or a coax. Next, let's talk about the wireless router, which is the brains of your home network. And the reason why I refer to it as the brains of your home network, because your router is in control of everything on your home network, from sending and receiving data packets, to security, and much, much more. And once again, I'll have pricing here for different routers, everything from budget routers to advanced routers. And of course, the larger your home, the more expensive a router you're gonna need. But just keep in mind, if you have a small home or apartment, a budget router will do just fine. Because the last thing you wanna do is buy an advanced router for a small space, because your signal will go outside of your house and other people can see it, and possibly hack it or piggyback off of it. So get just enough router for your home. The third thing I wanna talk about is a switch. And I recommend getting an eight port switch. They're around $20. TP-Link makes a great switch, so is Netgear. They do make five port switches, but go ahead and get an eight port switch. Because more ports is more better. And when I say switch, I'm referring to an unmanaged switch, not managed. An unmanaged switch is a plug and play switch. There is no setup at all. Just plug in and go. So now we have a modem, wireless router, and a switch. This is the backbone of your home network. The next few things I wanna talk about are the add-ons to your home network. Let's first talk about a cloud. I always recommend having a cloud setup in your house. These are very simple. They cost about 100, 150 bucks. Western Digital makes a great two terabyte or four terabyte cloud. You simply plug this cloud into your network, set up an app on your phone, then everybody in your house can back up their files, videos, pictures, music, documents. It's great to have on-site cloud capability. Sure, you could have cloud storage somewhere up there in the internet, but I prefer to have my cloud storage on site. I've had cloud storage for years and I love it. And your cloud storage could also act as a NAS, like a media server. We have movies saved to our cloud and I can watch those movies anytime I want from any device. Pretty cool. So once again, a cloud's great for backing up all your files as well as watching movies. And I'll have price links right here for different sized clouds. But I highly recommend having a cloud. It's just great to have a backup for all your files, especially videos and pictures. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is having a smart bridge. We have a couple smart hubs in our home. We have a Lutron Smart Bridge Pro that controls all our lights in our house. We also have a SmartThings hub. And once again, that hub can control everything in our house. And a couple more features you may wanna to add to your home network is a backup power supply for your network. If you have backup power to your network and the power goes out, your network is still up. Now I know what you might be saying, well if the power goes out, your ISP will probably go out as well, right? Not always the case. I'm on a fiber line, so when our power goes out, our fiber stays on. So if our network devices are connected to backup power, I still have internet access. Now this is not always the case. Sometimes the power goes out, your ISP will go out as well, but if you have backup power for all your network devices, there still is a great chance that you have internet connectivity. All right guys, so now we have a modem, wireless router, switch, smart hub, and a cloud. All these devices will give you a functional home network. And remember, the speed of your network is determined by your ISP. No matter how much money you spend on a router or a switch, 
Your speed will never be faster than your ISP's max speed. Never. So right here, guys, is our basic price for a home network in 2022. And I was surprised it's not that expensive. And this all really depends on the size of your house. But if your house is under 2,000 square feet, this network will do just fine. And once again, guys, I have links to all these devices in the description below. And guys, remember, if you have any home networking questions, please ask them in the comments below. I answer all questions. Because here at Ultimate Tech Hub, we're here to help you. And make sure to check out our Ultimate Home Networking Playlist. And guys, once again, I want to thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. We truly appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace. Scene one, Apple, take one. <laughs> Whether it's a fiber modem or a coax.